Hello, this is Peter with our short pocket size podcast to help you get a better broadcast podcast and voice over voice from mic technique to voice care tips and everything in between from writing it down to marking it up. Everything is here in our short daily episodes, more than 900 of them now. Today we're talking about stammering. Uh, Some parts of the world, they call it stuttering, so you may know it under either of those terms. Very often in these episodes, I've been doing an impression. Obviously, it would be insensitive to do that. Uh, and, and, And really, it's probably not really within the realms of a professional voiceover artist because I can't think of any professional broadcaster or even a podcaster that I've come across who's made a career out of a voice or a presentation in which they stutter or stammer. And we've spoken about various uh, people with uh, disabilities uh, vocally who uh, are, are, are fantastic and have a professional career in presentation and yet they're not of the traditional background and I've spoken about them before but um, I can't actually think of anyone who's got a professional career and also stammers or stutters so anyway because it's only going to be a couple of minutes let's let's let's, let's touch on it today and and as you'll know stammering is when someone repeats sounds or syllables for example in the word mummy and the, the the first syllable of that may be repeated several times before they are actually able to say the full word. Or they make a sound longer. So maybe on the M of mummy, they're hesitating and they've got the, the long M sound before they can get out the rest of the word. Or a word gets stuck and doesn't come out at all. And you've got that moment of silence, which is really awkward obviously for them and your heart goes out to them and it's awkward for you as a listener and 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 it's 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 a really awkward situation to be in uh, for both people but particularly the person who is trying to communicate with you and as i say aren't we aren't we just so lucky that we speak with such fluency um it's it's uh, a, a really difficult thing not to be able to communicate as as well as you want to you've got this fantastic mind you've got the you, you've got the ideas you've got a passion about a subject you've got some emotion you've got a message that you want to communicate with other people and it just won't come out as fluently as you want it to very little is known about the reasons behind stammering those who've got it probably have experienced it since childhood they're probably already in the healthcare system and being assisted by professionals so as I say advice from me is is negligible it's beyond the scope of this book it would be uh, unwise of me to suggest much more than I'm going to over the next 30 seconds or so although acute nervousness and stress are not thought to cause stammering per se those situations can trigger it in those who are already predisposed at a very basic level relaxation breathing exercises can be used as well as helping uh, the speaker become calmer emotionally reassurance from others about the work the content and the environment things like that what i would say is that on occasion i suffer from a very very small amount of stammering or stuttering maybe you do as well when maybe in a slightly stressful situation, maybe in a situation where you're on stage and speaking, you're trying to ad lib, you're trying to answer somebody, and that tense situation, the the stress can kind of cause a problem in your mouth and throat area. Uh, It's small, it's insignificant, it lasts, but for a second or two over the course of you know what you're going to be saying which may be a minute or two uh, over the course of a day where you may be doing some other presentation or or, or, or speech work I kind of did it a little bit there didn't I if that happens as I say it's probably down to the stress the tension of the situation the maybe the fact that you're trying to search for the word and in those situations relaxation warming up preparation as well 
may help and also not to let it get the better of you. I'm Peter Stewart. Thank you for listening as I kind of work my way through that. I don't feel, and I'm certainly not, qualified enough to talk any more on that particular topic. But I thought it was worth bearing in mind. We are speech professionals and we need to perhaps have a consideration for other people who can't communicate their message as well as hopefully we are able to. From stuttering to stumbling. Our subject tomorrow on Get A Better Broadcast Podcast and Voice Over Voice. From London, I'm Peter Stewart. (laughs) Bop, bop, bop.